call it that either. Because I don't call it that either. But even though we had a relationship with each other, it no such thing as that. No, no, a boyfriend and girlfriend, a relationship are two different things. I could be your friendship. That's a relationship with somebody. So, so, you can, so, so what I said to you is me, me and him, I said boyfriend, girlfriend. That's true. Okay. So okay. me and him had a relationship with each other, you know, a friendship. And it, it involved. What was, your, what was the title of your, what were you in that relationship? I was his one. And he was my man. <laughs> but he was not my He's husband. He's here. But, 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 no, Shane. Shan, I give you I give day, you kudos. I, I know what Mark is trying to do. Let me tell you why. Shan. Um, yes, Shan, yes. I've yes. never heard somebody be so candid about decision making in their life outside of outside of myself. Because I when I talk to young women, I tell them about decisions I've made and things I would have done differently because that's how you gain wisdom and that's how you help mm -hmm. somebody behind you. You don't you don't sensationalize or glory, glory put glory and grace over your life like you're so perfect in everything you did but to sure. a younger person you're supposed to help them navigate pitfalls and situations that you would have avoided so that they can be better I want my daughter to be a hundred times better than me I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything to to make it seem like I was perfect anything that I did that I feel that I could have done differently I'm gonna tell her and admit those to her to be to humanize myself and humble myself in her to pour wisdom into her, right? And so I commend you a hundred thousand percent for saying this is a decision I made. I would have made it differently, and I stand on that, and I stand on this principle now in 2024 for my children and people around me and people on the internet watching me. I commend you wholeheartedly and have a new respect for you. I don't know you that well, but um, that was refreshing. And, and, and I think that the reason why we have to do that, because people put, and, and it's not that the, I, I know that those words exist, and I know they mean something for somebody. The problem is some people take that so serious, and they start doing things in those relationships, thinking that they have some type of, of, of Title, it, it's, like it's a real relationship, and then they find out they end up being like me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You end up being a single mom or you mm -hmm. end up, there's a consequence out of mm -hmm. it, right? Because at the end of the day, it's not a marriage. Right. You can walk away from that. It has, it has no validity. You can't go to the government like, that was my boyfriend. Like, it, it, what's going to happen? <laughs> They're going to look yeah. at you like... Yeah, I actually so, can in some states, is, but I'm not even going to go and split the so, hands. Like I, I know that it exists, Mark. And I'm not, I'm, I, but the reason why I said that is because, the, like I said, this exact same play, I think it's taking it so far and we live in it. And us living in it is causing all these issues around us, right? we like, oh, it should be good enough. He's my boyfriend. Well, what is that? You are 50 years old. You got a boyfriend? Girl, goodbye. <laughs> and y'all been together. You mean been your boyfriend for 10 years? Come <laughs> up with something different, baby. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna work. work. <laughs> Ten kids later. <laughs> what? So if I ask a, just ask so I understand, if I ask a single person what their relationship status is, they just need to say single for the rest of they until they get married. I mean, that's technically what it is. Technically, what it is. no, I'm asking. Yeah, they are okay. single. You're oh. single. To what if you put on an application, what are you gonna put down? Are you in are you that is, is there a category for boyfriend, girlfriend? Like I don't think no, there is no it, it, it no cohabitation is a thing, but it is single, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you. So I just want to make sure we got that clear. So Marcus, I do know that there are people who have life partners. Maybe they don't want to do whatever, right? I still don't look at that as so so boyfriend and girlfriend, in my opinion, is we live in two separate it ain't nothing we doing that's like you know. And I and the reason I say that because even I, I believe you should be married, but I do know that there are people who I have a, a cousin who is a life partner. They live together, they've been living together for years, and they know they're going to be together for the rest of their lives. They're serious about it. Let's just be real. Most people ain't rolling like that, okay? So and they ain't calling them each other boyfriend and girlfriend for sure. You know what, Shan? <laughs> yeah, thank you. You know what you just did? You <laughs> absolved me of ever having cheated on anybody. I've never cheated <laughs> from this point forward. I've never cheated on nobody. I mean, technically, never. you have it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nigga just got a uh, what's that, that thing candy. called? A pardon. Thank you, Shan, for my pardon. And that <laughs> nobody, has, nobody. Oh, wrong, has this is the thing. As of today. 
if, 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 if mommy never cheated as far as a relationship is concerned, but you've gone no, back just, to the so let me listen to what nope, I'm saying. Nope, I'm clean. Market, I'm clean. I've never done a thing. Not, can I talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> you have been so I can say you have not cheated, but if you if you make a pact with somebody and you have a conversation with somebody and you tell them you're doing one thing, you are a liar. You can look at somebody and say, okay, I'm trusting my body with you. In return, I need you to only trust your body with me. And if you step out of that, that's you lying to me. Your character nope, I, I, I never had that conversation because the boyfriend and girlfriend don't exist. Then no other agreement including oh, okay. that existed. So I was Come single. On, I was single. <laughs> so I never did it. Now you out here bullshit. I never did it. <laughs> Oh. Shit, I ain't that. I'm, I've been I've been rinse clean of my sins. Born again Thank cheater. You. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Born again right. So Shan, what, what makes you feel like the um the marriage would have made it a lot more secure? For for um for what? I think I think um, that so 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 I think that when you are married to somebody it's not an easy way out it makes you work through things right you sit down you you, you it, i think that when you're just out there it's easy to part ways you know i'm done with it block them block you know they love to block these days i'm going by my business you don't even try to work it out and it could be just a simple miscommunication something simple like that whereas if you live with somebody or you're married to somebody you see you got to think about like wait 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 no 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 we can't conflate those two though what do you mean? So you said live with somebody. You said oh, well, you well, live so with somebody. If you live married. with somebody, you have to make a range. There, there's a harder process to it because you got to make arrangements. What I'm saying is there's another step to it, right? And sometimes that next step makes you think, like, dang, do I really want to do this? Like, is it, you know, is it really that serious? Let's talk about this. You know what I'm saying? And when you are just in separate households, people just leave. They people would dip for any reason now. Everybody's replaceable. When you so you feel like you feel like cohabitating is just as effective. You feel like cohabitating is you. It sounded. This is just how I'm interpreting it. No, no, no. It sounds. It sounds like you're saying <laughs> that cohabitating is just as effective as marriage to keep people together. No, no. no. I think that it, it adds another layer. Now, I think marriage is the ultimate, right? But it does add another layer. Like if you have no place to go, you gotta go home. Y'all gotta. You might need to talk. You know what I'm saying? Possibly. But if I'm going to my home, you, we don't have to talk again if I we don't want to talk, right? So I, it just adds another level. I'm not saying one is the same as the other one because I don't believe that. I do believe it's also easier if you if you live with somebody, you can just pick your shit up and move out. Now, if y'all got a house together, y'all actually went on in a house together, that may be a little different. But if you just live in an apartment together, you can be like, bump that, pack your stuff, and leave. But even that is still an extra layer than y'all living in separate households. Because at least you got to come back home to get the stuff. And in between that, maybe there's a conversation that could be had. You know? I, it's, so I'm just, I'm looking at it in that. Basically, she, basically, she's saying there's different levels to skin in the game. Absolutely. Would that be called relationship slash situation? Uh, never mind. It's situationships ain't got no skin in the game. <laughs> situationships ain't got no skin in the game. All you got None. is. <laughs> you the only skin they got. Never mind. 